want to learn how to play authentic blues chords, but you don't know where to start? Well, many beginner students play blues chords like this. But you can make your blues chords sound way more interesting even if you're a beginner. So in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about blues chords. You'll learn your blues chords, the coolest blues chord progression. I'm going to show you some awesome rhythms. And then most importantly, I'm going to show you how to play blues chords for your level. So whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you're going to learn how to play blues chords that sound hip and professional. So let's go ahead and dive in. We'll start with the review on blues chords, then the blues progression, then the rhythms, and then I'm going to teach you how to play blues chords for your level. So feel free to skip ahead in the video if you already know some of these concepts. All right, if you want to learn blues chords, then you're going to want to start with what I call the core chords. And these are very basic major chords that are going to turn into blues chords when you add some notes to them. So the three core chords are C major, F major, and G major, okay? Very simple, all white notes. And these chords are called the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. And this is because if you took the C major scale, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you build a chord on the one, then it's a C major. And then if you built a chord on the fourth note of the scale, it's an F major. And then if you build a chord on the fifth note of the scale, it's a G major. But these chords do not sound very bluesy. If you want to turn them into blues chords, you need to add one more note. And so on the C chord, we're going to take that C on the top and we're going to go down a whole step to B flat. And this turns it into what's called a C7 chord. And now we've gone from this to a C7. And I'm playing this chord in a really cool way, but it's basically a C7 chord really spread out. And so you're going to do the same thing on F. Play your major chord, go up to that high F, and then come down a whole step, and there's the F7 chord. Finally, G7. Go ahead and play the chord. You should be able to figure it out by now. Go to that G on the top, come down a whole step, and you have your beautiful G7 chord. All right, you learned your blues chords. Next, we're gonna talk about the blues chord progression. But before we do that, if you're enjoying the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. All right, in the next step, you're gonna learn the coolest blues chord progression. It is called the 12 bar blues, and it sounds like this. Isn't that fun? And it's actually not that hard to play. So the first step in learning your 12 bar blues progression is to memorize the three segments. And each segment has four chords in it. So here's the formula. Segment one goes one, four, one, one. Segment two goes four, four, one, one. And finally, segment three goes five, four, one, five. So let's go ahead and play these in order. We have a one chord, a four chord, a one chord, and then a one chord. That's segment one. Then we have four, four, one, one. That's segment two. Finally, we have five, four, one, five. So that is the order of chords, but you're probably thinking, Johnny, that does not sound very interesting. I want to play my blues chords in a really hip way, or I want my blues chords to sound kind of jazzy. And don't worry, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit in our lesson. But before we talk about how to make your chords sound hip, it's very important to learn the three essential blues rhythms. Because once you learn these rhythms, you'll be able to add so much more variety to your blues chord playing. So rhythm one goes like this. I'm basically grabbing each chord twice in the measure and I'm playing this rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two 
and three and four. Now notice that the first chord is short, pa, pa, and the second one is long. The second rhythm goes like this. And here it is slowly on the C chord. One and two and three and four and. Notice that the first two chords are short. One and two and three and four. And the third chord is long. And rhythm three goes like this. Here it is on the C chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Notice that the first and third chords are long. One and two and three and four and. And the second chord is short. One and two and three and four and. So when you're playing blues chords, I encourage you to try mixing up these rhythms. So when you're on the C chord, you could do rhythm one, one and two and three, and then rhythm two. One, and you can mix up these rhythms throughout your 12 bar blues. All right, the next section is the best section of this lesson because I'm gonna teach you how to spice up your blues chords for your playing level. But before we do this, if you wanna do a deep dive on playing blues piano, then I recommend that you check out our 10 lesson blues challenge. This is our most comprehensive course on playing blues piano and you will learn virtually everything that you need to know about playing blues, including the most common blues grooves. You'll learn some awesome left-hand bass lines, some shuffle patterns. We'll talk about some essential exercises to master your blues scale. And then we're gonna dive into improvisation and you're gonna learn my favorite improvisation techniques. We'll talk about soloing in the various positions, how to use different note values, and you'll learn my top blues licks and some really fun fancy runs down the piano. And we have a beginner to intermediate level course and an intermediate to advanced level course. So I'll put a link to both of those below. All right, you learned your blues chords, you learned the blues progression, and you learned some of the best rhythms to play your chords, but how do you actually make your chords sound cool and jazzy and hip? Well, that's what you're gonna learn in this section. You're gonna learn what I call the three levels of spice, and we're gonna take each of these blues chords and we're gonna make them sound way cooler and jazzier. We'll start with level one, which is the beginner level, and feel free to skip ahead in the video if you're at the intermediate or advanced levels. All right, beginner blues pianists, you're gonna learn how to take these blues chords and make them sound like this. So what am I doing? Well, I'm actually using three key techniques that you really need to know if you wanna get this sound. The first technique is to spread your chords out. So we're taking this ordinary C7 and we're putting the third here and then we're doubling the root on top and you get this beautiful spread out voicing, okay? And so you can do this on all of your chords. For the F7, you're gonna play it here, okay? So instead of this, we're gonna spread the notes out and play it like that. It sounds much more interesting. Then on the G7, we're gonna bring it up and play it here, okay? So again, we're spreading out the notes of the G7 and it sounds a lot better. Now, one really fun thing that I love to do on my C chord is to slide my E. So I'm actually hitting the E flat and the C and then coming up to the E with my thumb, okay? Here to slowly. Okay, and that's gonna give it a very authentic blues sound. And if you apply these chords on the 12 bar blues, you'll have this, C7, F7, C7, C7, okay? Then F7, that's gonna be twice, and then C7, and that's twice. Then a G7, then F7, then C7, and then a G7. But if you wanna spice it up more, you need to learn the other two techniques. And technique two is what I call the middle move trick. And basically, if I take my C chord like this, I can move that middle note here on the right hand, okay? So I can actually come up to F and G while I'm playing that left hand chord. Doesn't that sound nice? And then you can slide your notes. You can even slide the G. 
You see that? Or you can use your two finger here, but have fun moving that middle note. You can also do this on your F chord. Okay, you see how I'm moving up to the F? You can even go to the G here if you want. Okay, same with the G chord. You can go up to the G here. And you can even slide the G. All right, technique three is what I call the side step trick. And basically, with this technique, I can take each of my chords and I can drop down a half step to the chord just below it and back up to my chord. And it has a really cool sound when you play it in your 12 bar blues. So you can do it on the F chord. Just drop down a half step. It's called an E7 and then back to F. And then when you're on the G chord, you can do a little drop here, that little side step down, and then back to the G chord. And when you put these techniques together, here's what it might sound like on your 12 bar blues chord progression. Here we go. Notice also how I was shaking the chord. Okay, that's called a tremolo. And a tremolo is where you grab a chord and you just shake the notes. And so this is a really great way to fill in your gaps when you're holding a chord. By the way, the backing track is downloadable. You can also download the lesson sheet music you're seeing on the top left of your screen. And you can change the key of this entire lesson with the click of one button with our smart sheet music. So I'll put a link to all of that below. All right, level two is for all of you intermediate level pianists. And here's the sound of these chords. Now these blues chords are sounding a little more jazzy because I'm adding some key notes which are called chord extensions. And there are basically two extensions that you can add to each of your chords and they're very simple to find. If you take your C7 and you simply go up one note from the root and then play a little fifth interval from this note. What's a fifth interval? One, two, three, four, five. It's the D and the A. These are the two chord extensions you can add to a C7 to make it sound really hip. Notice that when I'm playing these kind of cool hip C chords, I'm playing a C7, but I'm adding an A and a D. These are the chord extensions, and you can do this on each of your chords. So on the F7, you go up a whole step to G, play a fifth interval up, one, two, three, four, five, and these are the chord extensions on an F chord. Same on a G7 chord. You play your G7, up a whole step, play a fifth interval from that whole step, and here are your chord extensions on the G7 chord. So the trick to finding your chord extensions are to play a seventh chord, go up a whole step, and play a fifth from this note. Now with this technique, I like to slide some of my notes. So on the C chord, I'll slide the E. On the F chord, I'll slide the A. And on the G chord, I'll slide the B. You can also use that middle move trick on these chords. See how I'm moving some of the middle notes of the chord? You can even do it on the G chord. See that? And you can do that sidestep trick with these chords. I'm basically going down a half step between each of my chords, like F7, down a half step, and then back up a half step. So if you put these chords on the 12 bar blues, you have C, F, C, C, F, F, C, C, then G, then F, then C, and G. 
And if you play this technique with the backing track, it might sound something like this. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to use chord extensions on almost any type of chord, how to practice them, how to use them in chord progressions and on tunes, you can learn all about this in our level 5 learning track over at pianowithjohnny.com. I'll put a link to that below. All right, level three is the more advanced chord technique, and I call this the mega spread. It sounds like this. With this technique, I'm creating some huge blues chords, spreading the notes out. And so in my left hand, I'm gonna play my C chord like this. Okay, if you put your root on the bottom, you'll really appreciate that chord. Okay, this is the chord that I taught you earlier, the C, but I'm adding the A to it. These are both the chord extensions. And then in my right hand, I'm gonna add three more notes. And these are just notes that come from the C7 chord, okay? Same for my F chord. Instead of playing it like this, I'm playing it like this, okay? Very jazzy sounding F chord. And I'm basically taking my F chord, I'm adding those two chord extensions that I taught you earlier, and then I'm spreading the notes out in both hands, okay? Same for the G chord, I'm gonna play it like this, okay? It's basically the notes of a G7, the two chord extensions, and then I'm just spreading these notes out. By the way, these left hand chords are called rootless voicing chords, and you can learn pretty much everything that you need to know about these chords in our level six learning track over at pianowithjohnny.com. I'll put a link to that below. Now with these spread voicings, I like to slide some of the notes. So you can slide the D when you're grabbing your C chord. And then on the G chord, I'll do the same thing. I'll slide the D to give it a bluesier sound. You can also play that side step technique with these chords. Basically, when I grab my first chord, like my C chord, I just go down a half step to a B7 chord and then back up to my C chord. And you can do this on all of your chords, like your F chord. I'm gonna come down a half step, okay? And then back up to F. And then same on the G chord. I can go down a half step, and then back up to the G. And if you play this technique with the included backing track, it might sound something like this. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to accompany using these really big chords, you can learn more about this style in our course, Five Jazz Comping Approaches. The particular style that I just played is what I call the big band style, but you're going to learn other styles inside this course and how to create a really cool blues accompaniment, so I'll put a link to that course below. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the lesson, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons for all playing levels, where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.